Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to the TGIF Report. I'm Maggie Young. It has been an absolute scorcher this week with temperatures soaring into the 90s. Every time I would leave the office and the comfort of the air conditioning, I understood exactly how the Wicked Witch of the West felt. I'm melting! Melting! Oh, what a world! But thankfully, it looks like things will be cooling off to a perfect 70-ish degrees this weekend, so we can all enjoy eating all of that delicious food at the Simply Slavic Festival downtown. And something else to enjoy this weekend in the comfort of your air conditioning, if you haven't done so already, is the mid-June issue of the Business Journal out now. So let's dive in and check it out. On the front page of the mid-June issue, we have this story by Dan O'Brien talking about Gary and Savage Sr who as of June 6th sat in Erie County lockup awaiting release on bond, accused by the state of Ohio of swindling more than a dozen investors out of hundreds of thousands of dollars related to the stagnant Chilcan project on Youngstown's east side. This Chilcan ordeal is eventually going to spawn a Netflix documentary. I just know it. Moving on to our brain game coverage, we have this story about a recent Jackson Milton High School graduate, Dominic Crago, who is following several career paths. Crago has founded his own flood cleanup business, completed Army basics training, and begun training as a junior firefighter, all within his last year of high school. That story was written by the newest reporter to join our business journal team, Lily Schaefer. And you can get to know her in this issue by checking out this profile story. We are so happy to have her on board. We also have a profile of the fabulous Carol Potter, who retired May 1st as CEO of the Better Business Bureau of Columbiana, Mahoning, and Trumbull Counties. She looks back on her decade-long career with the BBB of empowering trust in business. In this industry report, George Nelson takes a look at big projects coming to Ohio and Pennsylvania that are giving the building trades a huge boost in jobs. In this issue's Shop Local story, we talk with Vince Fury, who has been working in the grocery industry most of his life. He is president of the Village Plaza Sparkle Group, which consists of seven sparkle markets in Ohio and Pennsylvania. He says the industry today is facing several challenges, like higher wages, a shortage of labor, a broken supply chain, and higher food costs resulting from inflation. It's, I'm hoping we break this cycle. I and mean, you know, what I read is it's going to be on until 2025. I'm hoping that by 2023, we're back to a, a semblance of normal, yeah. where we can see prices start to escalate. So. You know, a family of four can come in and drop $100 and have food for a week, not for four days. Over on page 57, Guy Destalpo travels to Peppermint Studios in Youngstown, where Dean Anschutz of the band Red Wanting Blue and Anthony LaMarca of the band War on Drugs, alongside studio owner Gary Ramey, have put together an album of previously unreleased songs by popular local rock bands recorded in the 60s and 70s. In the insurance industry, Faith Marcio talks with local companies about some of the strangest items they've been asked to insure, from an elephant in a parade to a $20,000 replica of R2D2. That is only a cross-section of the stories that you can find in the mid-June issue of the Business Journal. If you are already a subscriber, thank you very much. We hope you are enjoying all of these stories. If you're not a subscriber and would like to be, you can get access to the mid-June issue either in print delivered to your mailbox or online on your desktop or phone by clicking subscribe at businessjournaldaily.com and picking the plan that's right for you. Plans start as low as $2 a month. And that's all for this week's TGIF report. We hope you all have an amazing weekend. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Maggie Young. 717 Credit Union. Business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union. It's knowing you were treated right every time.